Thank you. So joining me now to talk about this, David Wall. He's an attorney and a Trump supporter. And Julia Ginsky, a Democratic analyst and Fox News contributor. Welcome uh, to both of you. So, Martha. you know, good morning. I mean, good evening. I'm used to being out in the morning, but good evening to you both because we're still here. Um, Julie, what, what, what's your take? You know, yesterday we saw Donald Trump at a large table with Rudy Giuliani and Michael Flynn and a lot of law enforcement and terror specialists, you know, listening to what they had to say. Um, and there was a big show of law enforcement at the convention, the Republican convention, uh, over the summer. And now Hillary Clinton seems to be wanting a piece of that support as well. Well, I don't know if she's wanting a piece of that support. I mean, don't forget, the night that she spoke, which is the biggest night of the convention, she featured people who had lost uh, loved ones to law enforcement, mm -hmm. including the sheriff of Dallas County, uh, or the county in Dallas, uh, excuse me, where Dallas is located, where you had that awful, awful shooting. So it's not a new thing for her. But look, the big difference here is this. You can support the police. You can support what they do. You can support the fact that they put their lives on the line every day for all of us. And also support the notion that sometimes police take action that are not necessarily, that's not necessarily proper or appropriate. And what the best thing to do is to bring both sides together to figure out the best way to uh, enforce policing or to prevent those kinds of things from happening. What you see with Donald Trump, unfortunately, is only an attack on anybody who disagrees with anything that he says, including people who might have a legitimate grievance with the police, including minority communities. So, you know, it's not a my way or the highway situation here. You can support both and try to improve both without having to cast blame on anybody specifically, which is what I she's mean, doing. I think about Rudy Giuliani, who's one of his top uh, advisors, who says time and again, you know, that, that when there is a bad cop, it, it's a rare situation in most cases, but that person needs to be prosecuted. And in most of the cases that we've all covered and talked about so much, that's exactly what has happened. Um, but what you want to be wary of is painting with a broad brush the people who are there to keep us safe. I, I think that is, you know, sort of the overwhelming criticism of Hillary Clinton in this story, yep. uh, David, and, you know, yep. no, no doubt that that's probably where you're coming from on this. Yeah, I mean, it's a core critical American value, Martha. I mean, national security, personal security, the, secu the security of your family, and that's what law enforcement provides. And frankly, when Hillary Clinton, uh, when there's an officer involved shooting a high-profile case, Hillary Clinton's default position is to side with the alleged bad guy. Donald Trump's default position is to side with law enforcement until and unless he's proven wrong. Now, that's just so critical when it comes down to the feeling of every American who wants security, who wants law enforcement to be on their side. And I thought another um, interesting soundbite of Hillary Clinton's address to these eight uh, police chiefs today was she was talking about the hor horrible uh, mass shooting in Dallas, the horrible mass shooting in New Orleans where eight total cops were massacred by psychopathic uh, mass murdering gunmen. And her response was, and I'm quoting here, that this, there was work ahead to repair bonds of trust. So I'm, she's almost drawing a moral equivalency between these mass murders and the cops that they killed. And that's the default position she takes far too often. It's a dangerous one, right. and that's why so many cops, and I know well, a ton of cops working in the uh, criminal justice system for 27 years, I don't know a single one who's voting for Hillary Clinton. I, I got to tell you, very quickly, Julie. Just Sorry, the fact that you assume that somebody who got shot by a cop is automatically a bad guy just completely underscores the problem that Donald Trump I and his supporters have. I thought I said alleged bad guy. No, no. You didn't, say, you didn't say alleged guy. at all, my friend. You said bad that's guy, that, and that's, that's the problem. That's absolutely what I said. No, that's well, absolutely we go back to the tape. Uh, thank you to both Thanks. of you. Good to have you here tonight.